This rectory sure had a pew. Hello and welcome to Rotted Review of the Day, and today I am taking a look at the 2015 movie A Haunting at the Rectory. Now, I have to admit, uh, it's a confession of (laughs) sorts. The reason that I picked this movie out is I wanted to see how far I could get into a review saying the word rectory as many times as I could without giggling like a schoolboy. However, any sense of humor that I had about this was immediately deflated upon watching it. This movie did something that I have not experienced in a long time. It bored me to death. And I'm standing by my rule that I do not review a movie until I have seen it all the way through to the end credits. And standing by that rule, this was a really difficult one for me. Not because of anything uh, content-wise, but it was so boring that me working a regular full-time job and coming home and having to do chores and get the new house ready and cook meals and so on, sitting down to watch this, it was difficult for me to maintain focus and consciousness while watching it. It literally took me a full week and five tries to get through this movie. It was just that boring. I'm not going to say it was that bad. Well, I mean, it was bad, but it was it was just so bland. There was nothing in this that couldn't have been condensed down and packed into a 10-minute short film. This movie it has to do with uh, the real-life story of the Borley Rectory and Marianne and Lionel Foister, who is a uh, vicar and his wife, who live there and they take on a tenant slash handyman by the name of Frank. Uh, and Frank proceeds to have an affair with Marianne. And then I guess you could say supernatural things happen. It's just kind of oddities more than anything else. Certainly nothing all that interesting. Uh, and I mean, in in real life, yeah, technically this happened according to the diaries of Marianne Foister, but then she later on recanted and just said that she had the affair and made up the supernatural stuff to cover it up. Regardless, apparently, Andrew Jones thought that this was a worthy enough story to make movie of, and if you've never heard of Andrew Jones, look up his IMDb directorial uh, filmography. (laughs) This is a man that is all about quantity over quality he averages anywhere between four to six movies a year and i don't think a single one of them have been any good uh the only ones that i really think are worth mentioning are the robert the doll franchises and those are more mostly just a lark than anything else they're not actually good movies they're just fun to watch in how ridiculous and awful they are Uh, this one wasn't ridiculous in how awful it was it was just awful And it was really, really tough to get through. Not the worst movie I've ever seen by a long shot. That title is still held by the Dread Ratlin, and I don't know if it'll ever be dethroned. But it was quite bad, and it was so bland to get through. I'm going to go and throw up all the scores here. As always, four different categories, each one worth up to 25 points for a total possible score of 100 points. And the big problem with this movie is you had three characters in the entirety of the film. And it was nothing really, but dialogue between the characters. And they would spout a line, and then there would be a five full Mississippi pause, and then the next line. It doesn't matter if it was the same character delivering you know, the next sentence, it was always a pause, and then the next sentence, and then a pause, and then the next sentence. And it basically, for a character-driven story, you had characters that really had nothing to say. They were so poorly written and so poorly acted that you wound up with all the richness and depth of a saucer of non-fat milk. It was just bland. It was bland and it was awful in its entirety. Uh, I really don't have a whole lot more to say on this one. I, I, I really, you know, for somebody that wanted to watch this movie just as a lark to, because of a stupid word, I will never forgive this movie for taking that childlike humor away from me. I really wanted to giggle like a, you know, madman at the word rectory, 
uh, because the word rectory is funny. I mean, even in my intro, I made fun of. I mean, yeah, I stole the joke from the Drew Carey show, and that probably stole it from another, you know, another source. But regardless, it took it away from me, and that is one of its biggest sins. Not the biggest, but one of the biggest. It was just terrible through and through, and I really can't recommend it. And I really don't have a whole lot more to say on it. So that's my review of. 2015's A Haunting at the Rectory. I really thank you for joining me here today. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. If you like these videos, please click like and subscribe. And if you want to support me further, my Patreon link is below. Remember, next time you want to watch a horror movie, first make sure that it's good and rotted.